Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer, my website nhastrologer.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the week of August 5th. I'm actually on vacation this week, so you know I did this early. But what's going on this week is some really good, fun, easy going aspects. And the lunar signs are easy enough. So the only thing we have going on is uh, planet stationing at the end of the week on Sunday. I'm going to tell you about that and a few other things. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me here. Now, if this is your first time here, I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer. Website link will be right there. And you can read this forecast on my website, nhastrologer.com. So let's get started with Monday, August 5th and the moon in Libra throughout the day and all of Monday and just a little bit of Tuesday. So that means the moon in that sign is we're going to be seeking and searching for harmony and peace and balance in our lives. Some of us will be very successful at it and some of us will be seeking it, hoping then wishing that things would just calm down so things can stay and feel a little more balanced. So your perspective is what will make this more, what will make this balance or out of balance, okay? So make sure your perspective, what your perspective is, and you stay in as most, as best a centered and harmonious place that you possibly can. That's what Monday has to offer. Tuesday and into Wednesday, so this is August 6 and 7, what we have is the moon in the sign of Scorpio. On these two days, we have opportunities to take deep dives into how we're feeling and what we're emotionally connecting to. We also have, there are other people, some people, we all have different ways of using these energies. So a deep dive into what's important for you. This doesn't have to be serious, but if it's important for you, you're able to address this Tuesday and Wednesday. Some people we may see in our environment or out in the world being a little more manipulative because they're trying to get their own way because they don't know how to do some of the deeper work that you do. All right. So we're going to see a little, we could see a little bit of both. Again, your perspective is what matters the most. But one of the bonuses that we have is on Wednesday the 7th, and that's the sun making a fire trine to Jupiter in Sag, sun in Leo, as Jupiter is slowing down to turn direct on Sunday. This is a nice day. This is a day where we have, we could just feel a lot of growth and expansion. So whatever you're doing really on Tuesday and Wednesday, the 6th and 7th, we can really focus and find a lot of, of expansion and growth in the things that we're passionate about and the things that we love. That Sagittarius energy is nice and strong this week because of Jupiter slowing down to go back to direct motion. We have, let's move on to Thursday, the news for Thursday. Again, most of Thursday, the moon is still in Scorpio, so the same energy applies that I just said. And then we also have Venus in Leo. She is now making a trine aspect to Jupiter in Sagittarius. These are the two benefics. This is a beautiful day. This is a wonderful day to, again, do what we love, connect to what we love. This is wonderful for relationships, wonderful for people to really connect. So make sure you use these, the Sun trine Jupiter and Venus trine Jupiter on Wednesday and Thursday. Actually, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Because Thursday evening and into Friday and Saturday, moon in Sagittarius. So now the moon wants us to play, wants us to have fun and explore life on the weekend. So Friday and Saturday, as the moon comes to make a conjunction to Jupiter, it's like the moon's coming in and the moon in Sag says, let's play, let's have fun, let's explore life, let's learn through life experiences. But the moon is in a way ushering Jupiter out of his retrograde and uh, getting him to turn forward so we can start getting more of that expansion. So that truth of who you are, your deep truth comes to the surface. But again, the main point that I love to look at with Sagittarius is exploring life and really living life through experiences. It's not just book learning. And it's summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere. So who isn't out and about playing, having fun and exploring life and learning new things. 
And that is what we have for the whole week. The final day of this week's forecast is Sunday the 11th, and that is when Jupiter is stationary and goes direct. And that's at 9.37 in the morning. This is East Coast time in the US. And we have Uranus going retrograde at 10.27 PM. He's gonna be retrograde all the way until, sorry about that, I have my windows open. <laughs> He's going to be, Uranus is going to be retrograde all the way until January 2020. So there's more to come with Uranus retrograde in Taurus. That's in future forecasts. But today he's stationary. So Sunday might feel like a day where there might not be a lot of movement or whatever has its motion, whatever is going and moving and already has some momentum. So whatever's going on there can continue its momentum, but there's not a lot of new movement on Sunday. We really are gonna feel this for a couple of days before this anyways, even up to a week before, just because these planets are so slow from our perspective here on Earth that we don't really see them move very far. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Please um, come to my website, nhastrologer.com. I am a professional astrologer, so you can order your own personal private sessions there. And I have a Patreon group where we do extra stuff for just you, you and your membership, okay? So uh, the links, all of the links are part of what's popping up here right now. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you very much. Blessings and namaste.